back to a new vlog today. I am going up to London. I'm going up to London with Lauren. We're gonna have a cute little afternoon in London because I have meetings from fairly early tomorrow morning. So we thought it was best to go up to London and stay overnight. And yeah, we're just gonna have a cute little girly afternoon whilst we're at it. And it is very warm today by the looks of it. The sun has come out. I'm very thankful for it. Though the outfit that I prepped for today was definitely for weather that was a couple of degrees cooler. So I've had to rethink that. So I'm just getting ready for the day. I actually have about an hour until I need to like be leaving and I'm a little bit worried. But yeah, I had to wash my hair this morning because if I had washed it yesterday, number one, it would have interfered with my tan developing. I never do hair wash and tan on the same day. I just don't think the tan comes out as well. But also I was a bit worried that my hair wouldn't stay as good for all of my meetings over the next few days because we come back Tuesday evening. So yeah, washed it this morning. I never usually vlog with wet hair because I just look a little bit crazy, but yeah. We've got our work cut out for us this morning and I've literally just put my face fake tan on. So if anyone's wondering why I'm doing my makeup in a weird order, I'm waiting for it to like develop and do its thing. So I'm doing makeup in a really backwards way right now, but you just gotta trust the process. Okay, I'm just going to something a little bit light and brown and soft and smoky in case the warm weather really does me dirty today and it all starts like slipping off my face, basically. By the way, the eyeshadow I used this morning is the Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow Stick in the shade Taupe. I actually have a really cute darker one as well. I think it's called Cinnamon. I've left it at Ryan's, so I need to go and pick that up because it's really, really nice. And I'm just setting that with my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. Now I'm about to do something that looks absolutely mad, but again, I trust the process kind of thing. So I have been putting my Rare Beauty blush in the shade, I think it's Joy. It's a very kind of like corally, ready toned blush. I've actually been using it to correct my dark circles because they've been quite dark lately. <laughs> and I don't actually have a corrector currently that is the right color for my skin tone. They're all very light. So I've taken to using this. It looks insane when you first do it. But once you get the concealer over the top, it actually looks really good. I really need a new concealer. This one is running out. Well, my skin is not the best at the moment. Those Easter eggs that I ate last week, really coming back to form. And see, it does not look absolutely insane anymore. Yeah, I'm gonna get my makeup done. I'm gonna put this on fast forward. And then I need to air wrap my hair. I air wrap update. I've been using the like, bristly round brush attachment and it works so much better for my hair so i rough dry this to pretty much like basically dry just leave it a little bit to be honest i might not even need to rough dry it today by the time i'm done with my makeup maybe just a little bit at the roots but basically get it to like 90 percent dry and then i go in with the round brush attachment and it just blow dries so perfectly last week i used it and i actually just didn't top up the majority of my hair i think i redid like the front bits on the daily and that was it amazing so yeah that is a little bit life-changing i'm gonna take it to london with me but i'm also gonna take my ghd curler because i've gone back to using that every so often at the moment oh you've seen it in a vlog oh yeah you will have seen because i went to look at dining tables but yeah those i want to do those curls i think one of the days whilst i'm away but yeah, anyway let's get ready
the chaotic stage before your fringe actually drops and settles into place. Wow, my hair did not get less crazy. I've been a little bit windswept. I am currently multitasking at the station. I have my Lauren. She's looking very cute, but we're both just trying not to drop things right now. Just know that whilst I'm trying to do this whole cute walking along the train montage, I'm actually walking along like this. I picked a great week to come up here and have a roof terrace so well done well done Suze very pleased with my choice I think we are about to go for a little walk because we have been on the train for so long and I get really travel sick now I think it's me old age you know so we are going to go for a little walk with a wine stop somewhere along the line and i'm very excited about it so yeah gonna bring you along with us we're also going out for dinner tonight and i'm so excited we have found a place that does a banging watermelon margarita which is something that lauren and i absolutely live for so we will be bringing you along with us because i feel like this is like a little gem that lauren found that's why they call her lauren jemson uh, <laughs> so you're gonna keep that last name now aren't you <laughs> I need to capitalise on that. I think you do. Yeah, she found this really great little like Mexican place in Covent Garden. It's probably like, I'll probably show you guys and loads of you will be like, yeah, we knew. But, banging watermelon margarita and I feel like everyone needs to know about it. So, we're going to bring her along with us and we're going to have some fun before we have like meetings this week. Anyway, I'm going to soak up some of the sun and then we're going to get going. So we've done a little bit of unpacking and we're going to go for a little walk now and get a drink. And this is what I'm wearing today. I didn't get the chance to show you this morning. We've got a black top from Topshop, which I have tucked into this Zara skirt, which I actually haven't worn properly yet, but I really like it. And then we've got the Fendi monogram boots, my Chanel 19 bag. All my jewelry is Monica Vinader and my sunglasses are my YSL ones, my prescription ones. It was a life-changing decision that I made still so happy about it i can actually see everything all the time now life is great me and my 2020 vision are oh, gonna go get some wine So this is where our fave little Mexican restaurant is. We're opposite the Pineapple Dance Studio. We love it. It's called Cafe Pacifico. Come here, get the watermelon margarita. Thank me later. Oh, here she is. Cheers, honey. Yeah. Ooh, I'm so excited. Reminded to everyone that when I am drinking, we ignore anything that is on my plate. This is honestly the most delicious thing. I'm so excited. Good morning everybody, so this morning I have a breakfast to go to with Adenola, so I am up, I am, whoa, I am raring to go, I am just putting some makeup on, I'm gonna go for something a little bit minimal today I think, just for daytime, we're going out for dinner later so I'll probably spruce things up a little bit before dinner, I think I'm gonna go for a little bit of the Tom Ford stick foundation this morning it's got a really nice like natural coverage and it's not too dewy but it's not too matte either now the weather's warmed up the, the dewy foundations are really extra dewy on me and it's kind of a lot so we'll see how we go with this today but yeah really looking forward to this morning's event i have got my favorite adenola set on and then i'm gonna wear a little shirt over the top that's just here hopefully it won't be too chilly and then we're gonna go for some lunch after oh my god i'm so looking forward to lunch it's gonna be so nice yeah i'm gonna get some makeup on and i will bring you along with us for the day
here, morning London. You're looking very gloomy today. I already regret not bringing a leather jacket. I'm just wearing a blazer today with my Adenola set. I decided to go for the blazer instead of the waffle shirt because it's just a bit chilly today. So this is my outfit for this morning's breakfast. I've got my Zara blazer on, Balenciaga bag, Adenola, olive green set, which I just love so much. This one is my favorite of all my green colors that I have from them. And then my Converse, and I've got some Adenola socks on as well. Oh, and my YSL sunnies. The lighting in here is always so funky. Just putting on some Estee Lauder bronze goddess because is almost the season. Oh yeah, my hoop earrings are from Monica Vinida and then that's it for my jewelry at the moment because I'm gonna pass some more on later. Lovely new Adenola pieces. I love this color. It's so cute. Really like the green as well. I think this little tennis set is my favorite. That is so cute. I love it. This t-shirt, also really, really cute. And the jumper, oh, love that. So we've come to Brasserie of Light for lunch and this is really dangerous because I'm having a margarita and then we're going shopping. I love shopping. I love drunk shopping. Oh my god, you guys, Mindy or and I bought something. at Pavilion in Knightsbridge. I'm very, very excited because there is a new launch that I'm so looking forward to trying out. And then I have a full day of meetings, so I'm not sure how vlogging is gonna go today. It obviously didn't go too well yesterday either. I feel like it's very sporadic, but I will take you along with me as much as I can today and I will definitely catch up with you guys when I'm home. <laughs> Not sure what's going on there. But I thought I'd take this opportunity to talk you through a few updates that I've made to my skincare routine because I feel like there's one product especially that is really helping. Like there is like no redness to my up and <laughs> honestly I'm quite surprised. I've made a few switches to my skin routine. I've just cleansed my skin. I've actually just used the Emma Hardy Moringa cleansing balm, which if you are maybe just a little bit younger or you're new to like the beauty world, this is like a cult product like there are a lot of people that are really like ride or die for this out there and it's actually the first time 
now that I've ever started using it. I've never used it before, like in my early 20s. So yeah, I am a fresh new baby to it, but I can really understand the hype. It's really hydrating. Like my skin doesn't feel dry at all after cleansing. Like I'm comfortably standing here talking to you with it on my skin, which is amazing. I was using my Ren, what is it? The jelly cleanser? This one, clean jelly oil cleanser, which I really like, but I feel as though it's more of a in the depths of summer kind of product. It was just making my skin feel a little bit dry around my hairline. So I'm gonna reserve that for summer, but I do really love this. I think if you have oilier skin, my skin is way more balanced now than it's ever been before. If you have oilier skin, this is very, very good. Also update on the Ren. None of this is gifted from Ren, by the way. I just really like the brand and I actually haven't used, I just realized it's all Ren. Okay, but I wanted to give you an update on this because I bought it, I did a little MS beauty haul. I love the MS Beauty section. And I've been using this a little bit, not a lot, like you can see, I just used like a little amount of the top. I only use it like once or twice a week because my skin just doesn't deal very well with a heavy amount of acid on it. It's the Ren Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA Tonic. I really like it. It makes my skin basically look like poreless. Love that. I really love using it and then using my Sunday Riley oil of an evening. So I don't use my allies of skin. Blemish Promise Sleeping Cube. What is it called? This one. This I use when my skin is really bad, like cystic acne, kind of bad. I only have one like active blemish here and it's really going very, very quickly. But yeah, the other day I did this in the morning, then followed it up with just a light oil. Nothing that has any like active skincare in it because I try to stick to like one active product per routine even if it is just in a toner my skin gets overloaded <laughs> much like the rest of me i just get overwhelmed very easily my skin is the same but in my nighttime routine i followed it up with this after cleansing and this just really like pushes all the crap out of my <laughs> skin it literally was a combination of the two actually made my skin look poreless the other day i woke up the next morning and i just I was like, oh my God, I've actually got that skin that I see other girls have that there is the, like not poor inside, it was amazing. So yeah, really been enjoying this literally just a couple of times a week. Like I said, just follow it up with a moisturizer, really nice and easy or an oil or something. I've also been using this oil, which is the Ren Evercalm Barrier Support Elixir. I've been using this a little bit during the day and I think this has really been helping to just like, I don't know, I feel like it's been doing good things. Like my skin is just looking very, happy like there's minimal redness and honestly my diet has not been like super in check so i can't put it down to diet and there being no redness like i've definitely been snacking so yeah i'm gonna put it down to this a little bit because it's definitely changed up a lot since i've started using this and then i started using this and i feel like the combination is just great like my whole routine at the moment my skin feels very happy i think it's new it was at the till at space and k i went shopping in there the other day and decided to pick it up. I also got a few other bits. What did I get? I got some individual lashes and a blush. It's a very random little purchase. But I did a little mini vlog on my TikTok if you want to go and watch my shopping trip. But yeah, that is the oil on my skin. So yeah, just a little bit of eye cream as well. I love this. Again, Ren, I feel like I'm just at that stage in my life where like nice, simple, but like decent skincare is what my skin needs. But I don't need anything super like potent at the moment like allies like allies of skin is like heavy duty really great products and ren is like a little step down from that it's a little step back a little bit more gentle and i really like that anyway i am going to put some spf on get some makeup on and we're gonna get started with the day So I just realized it's gonna look so strange that I just got this out of the box. I don't know why, I never do this, but I have been on autopilot and I've been putting it back in the box every time I use it. I have no explanation. But am I going to do it again? Absolutely. I have no idea why. So I'm just gonna put on a little bit of makeup for the day. I say a little bit. I don't think I've recently gone to put on a little bit of makeup and actually only put on a little bit. So we will see where this ends up. But ideally just a little bit on today because I'm not doing too much. I have been struggling a little bit this week. So I actually, like, when did I come back from London? Like over a week ago. <laughs> I haven't really addressed the fact that it's like a week later. But yeah, I've been really struggling, just feeling very, very low. There's also been a lot of drilling going on outside. The street works are back. So yeah, it's not been ideal filming circumstances. Definitely struggling a lot at the moment and YouTube is really hard 
when you're not in a good mental headspace like making videos so I've just been like getting on with other little bits but yeah today we have no drilling we just have this like tree cutter there is either the tree cutters or the drilling and honestly I can't get moments peace but anyway today I just have a few little errands to run but I also want to get up in the loft because we booked a holiday I'm so excited. I haven't been on a holiday in a very long time. I'm trying to not think about all of the new hoops that you have to jump through if you want to travel now. I'm really like not giving that my brain capacity until I actually have to because I think it might make me feel quite anxious. I was never a great traveller anyway. But anyway, I want to get up in the loft and look at my summer clothes before I purchase too much and then realise that I already have perfectly good clothing so I'm gonna get up there see what I've got see what I want to take with me I really haven't done a winter to spring switch over at all yet a winter to spring what am I trying to say like the spring switch over basically hasn't happened I've put all my coats in the loft and I have not brought anything back down because the weather in the UK is just not really weathering in the way that I would have expected it to have been by May it's basically just stayed the same as it has been just a couple of degrees warmer than a few months ago so really nothing going on no need for any kind of cute spring summer pieces but because we are going away i'm going to dig a couple of bits out we're going to greece so i'm thinking just like lots of nice white linen kind of vibes which i know i have up there somewhere there's a the nice blue shirt which i think would work really nicely for when i'm in the uk as well and i've been like thinking about when i get dressed at the moment so i know i need to get up there and figure out where that one's hiding so i want to do that today and then i'm gonna go out run my errands i need to pick a very exciting vacuum cleaner up <laughs> it's not exciting at all also you guys this highlighter it's from rare beauty it is so good i actually need to i should have put this into moisturizer on today but it's in one of my bags already i've got it packed for my next trip but this highlighter i used it the other day and it is i'm gonna say something quite statement but it's probably the best highlighter i have ever use i'm gonna zoom in so you can see like if you like a highlighter but you want a highlighter that like looks just glossy skin you need this like, it's incredible look at that and it just looks like skin i think i could put this on my skin without foundation and it would just look incredible i like to apply it with my fingers i think it helps it to blend into the skin better but it really does look like dewy glossy skin it's incredible so yeah this is in the shade enlighten so nice. I used it when I was doing a little TikTok tutorial the other day and it amazed me. I look like Tin Man right now, but just bear with me. That glow, wow. I love that. I love that so much. Still using the good old corrector trick right in the centre of my, well the centre, the inner corners of my eye because they are just so dark. But I also have a slightly lighter corrector slash concealer from Bobbi Brown, which I use at the moment for the rest of my under eyes. I had a meeting with Bobby Brown the other day and they very kindly gifted this to me. It is the Corrector Stick in Light Peach, which is a good match for my skin. But for the inner corners, I need something a bit more heavy duty because they are just very dark gray. It's actually insane. This is the bit, you know where I said, I'm just putting them on a light amount of makeup. This is where it all goes downhill. Going in with whatever is left of my Charlotte Tilbury Magic concealer. Like I'm struggling. <laughs> I love this concealer so much. Luckily, I have a few more, which are also in my summer colours, which is great. So that is my favourite concealer hack at the moment. I think you need quite a good coverage concealer as well to be able to cover up the blush corrector. Then going in with a little bit of contour. And I'm blending that out quite a lot just so it looks really natural. <laughs> she said, okay, love that. I'm going for a little like Hailey Bieber Met Gala glam kind of vibes today like really minimal but like great skin kind of vibe i'm going to put on a little bit of the charlotte tilbury lip tint this is in the shade santa euphoria just gives a little bit of color to my lips because they have very little pigment okay so i'm just taking a tiny amount of the v i wand in the shade raven and i'm just gonna put that along my lash line but not gonna be super noticeable like that i'm actually just gonna set that with my Tom Ford liner. My eyelids are feeling a little bit more oily today. I think it's because I've used a, I have oily eyelids anyway, but I've used a Bobbi Brown shadow stick, which I just love. I've been using this new shade that I got gifted. I basically had a full day of meetings at Estee Lauder on Tuesday. That was why my vlogging was so sporadic, but they gifted me this shade. It's called Peach Mimosa, which is what I popped on my eyes today. So pretty, like a really nice neutral, tone for my skin i think it's really pretty oh my god i just realized i haven't even shown you my new bag 
I'll show you that shortly. I actually unboxed it whilst I was in London because I just couldn't wait. I'm gonna preface this with it's nothing super on trend and new, but I've actually just wanted this bag for a really long time and i have realized that most bags in my wardrobe tend to like stand the test of time no matter what style they are how trendy they are at the time if i buy them in a certain colorway this brow pencil makes doing brows if you're not doing anything super precise so quick and easy i don't know how i feel about thinner brows coming in by the way guys i'm seeing it i'm not sure how i feel i think it just makes my forehead look enormous how do you feel about it can you let me know also can you let me know if you've enjoyed the makeup chats in this vlog because i realize it's actually been a little bit heavy with that kind of content if i'm honest i love it because it allows me to deflect from the fact that i don't feel great in my brain so let me know if you like this kind of content because i will do more of it and if you don't want that let me know what you do want because i actually am like open to suggestions right now i'm quite emotionally attached to this lip gloss at the moment this is nars chelsea girl doesn't normally look like a color that i wear but i put it on I was like, oh, this is actually just so nice. It's not super opaque, but it just gives everything a kind of brown tint. This might be the first gloss I ever actually use up, guys. If that happens, I will be shocked. Just using the Charlotte Tilbury uh, brush flawless filter powder in the shade two. I think I'm gonna need to go one darker for summer, actually. So that is my makeup for the day. No idea what to do with my hair. I actually washed it the other day and then didn't touch it since, so we have some very flat bangs okay i have decided that i'm just gonna leave most of my hair as it is it's fine it's just my bangs need a bit of life i've been getting a lot of dms about the odd dyson era and whether it's worth it i obviously haven't had it for a huge amount of time but so far I'm obsessed with it especially because i have the shorter pieces and how i wanted the shorter pieces to be styled this is a godsend because otherwise i'd be really faffing around with like an actual blow dry brush every day or i'd be using my ghd rise which i am keeping i actually had a big sort out of all of my hair tools the other day and was kind of like weighing up what i needed because i now have the air wrap there's a lot of things that i don't need however keeping the rise because i do think it's so good for like topping up or if you want something to have a little bit more hold or you're going to the US because apparently this doesn't work if you take a UK one of these to the US so I'll definitely be taking my GHD Rise so hopefully I'll go to the US later this year it's kind of weird talking about it so maybe but yeah so so far I think it's so worth it because I literally haven't used my hair dryer if I actually want to just like rough dry my hair literally I don't even know if you should do this but I literally just blast my hair like that all of my blow dry brushes are basically redundant at the moment the only thing that this doesn't do is do waves like my ghd classic curling wand which i love and that has been like a very staple part of my hair routine at the moment so it doesn't do everything but it does it has replaced a lot of things i haven't even been needing to straighten my hair where i like blow dry it and then leave it like this and it's actually really nice but obviously would do straighteners if i wanted dead straight hair but yeah for the most part i'm so happy i spent the money on it especially because i do have the bangs if i hadn't cut the baby bangs in which i wouldn't have done if i hadn't got this i don't think i would have needed it as much like i would have liked it but this has been an absolute game changer for the short bits i'm very happy with it but also just in terms of like i don't have to style my hair very much and that's great <laughs> So for anyone that's wondering, I didn't hold the heat on my hair for that long. I very quickly switched to the cool setting just to set it in place. And a little bit of hairspray goes a long way with keeping this held in place. But yeah, that is how I get the little baby bangs. It looks really cute as well with them like this if I do like a half up. Maybe I'll do, oh yeah, I'll do that today. Where's my giant hair clippy? I'm going to hairspray this and then we're going to get on with the day. I'm going to take you along with me. This is my little outfit of the day i've got my pine green adenola set on and then this top which is an old one from misguided which i just happened to buy last summer i think it was last summer and it's got this gorgeous green tone on it which actually matches these leggings perfectly so when i got these leggings i was like oh my god i know the perfect sweatshirt to go with this look i've then got adenola socks and then nike trainers these trainers are looking so old and gross now but they're honestly the comfiest to walk in and especially as i'm gonna go and do a little walk on the treadmill in the gym just whilst i'm picking up this hoover i was like i might as well go to the gym and do a little walk on the treadmill so yeah this is what i am wearing i've also got my balenciaga bag which i just love 
I'm loving it. I'm loving it so much. Obviously, it's just super overpriced and really expensive for what it is, but I just, I love it. I'm so happy with it. I literally use it daily at the moment. It's like the handiest everyday bag for a girl like me who is not a minimalist and doesn't not carry a lot very often. But yeah, that is my little OOTD. I've taken so long to get ready today that I actually don't know if we're going to be able to go through all of my stuff that's in my loft. So we may actually end up doing a whole getting ready for my holiday video in the next video because I just feel like I've been vlogging forever now and it's probably going to be really long. So let me know. Do you want to see a whole getting ready for vacay style video? Let me know. Do you want that? Let me know. A little bit of perfume before we go. This one is new from Estee Lauder. It's just, I think it's launched or it's just about to launch. It's Bronze Goddess New. I think that's how you say it. It smells so good. Like so coconutty and delicious honestly you need this also i forgot to shave my nails they're so fun had them redone i think on the thursday after i came back from london i am obsessed they are so cute look oh love them guess who forgot to check whether her order was actually ready for pickup this girl this girl so it's all good going to the gym feels productive Here we have a little strawberry smoothie. It has coconut yogurt, banana, strawberry, peanut butter, protein powder. What else did I put in there? A splash of oat milk as well, just to allow it to do its thing. I wouldn't put the oat milk in there if I were making like a smoothie bowl. But yeah, I think that's, I think that's everything in there. It is delish, it's so good. Basically tastes like a healthy version of the McDonald's milkshake, it's delish. Oh my gosh, that smoothie was so good. I. I'm going to take a moment to show you the new bag and some of you could probably have guessed it, some of you have probably seen on TikTok already, but this is the new bag. I'm not doing some big unboxing because like I said, I've already been wearing it for like a week and lots of you have seen it anyway and lots of you probably could have guessed because it's a very predictable purchase. However, I'm absolutely loving it and I am very happy that I went for the grainy leather. Looks way less snazzy but the wear on it is meant to be so so good everyday wear kind of wear the soft one and the there's another one that's kind of like a almost like an iridescent black less than daily wear whereas i wanted something that i can just throw on repeatedly over the summer it fits my card holder in it my phone my keys i think i've fitted a vlogging camera in here but i can't remember but yeah it fits a decent amount in it it's not the smallest size but yeah that is my little purchase got a little pocket on the back it was very expensive for a bag of this size. However, I'm really enjoying it. I really like the shape. I loved it when I tried Victoria's on when I went and stayed at her house. She has like the all blush version, which is so stunning, but I just was slightly apprehensive as to whether I would get the wear out of it. And I just know from seeing my bag collection develop over years and seeing what I have been wearing and stuff, I tend to not love the blush colors so much. And blush is just a really hard, I'm finding this because I really would like a lovely blush toned bag. It's a really hard colour to purchase and to make sure it goes with all of the neutrals already existing in your wardrobe. I'm struggling with it, I'm not going to lie, but I wear a lot of black in the summer now anyway. So I'm thinking of just getting a nude bag more for weddings and stuff like that, like a dressy nude bag, maybe like a YSL clutch or something like that, that I can wear with like wedding guest dresses or for events because that's when I tend to wear like colour and things that would actually look better with a new bag whereas in the summer I generally just tend to wear like black white and blue and actually this bag looks so cute with all of them I love the gold hardware it's like a nice antique style gold which is a nice switch up from what I already have in my bag collection and I just love the style of it it's a little bit more boho than everything else I have in my collection so aside from my Balenciaga City which actually when it's over the shoulder looks very boho esque because it's suede and i wear that a lot in the summer however it because it's suede when the weather is bad i can't wear it i've been loving wearing little bags like over my shoulder like this 
and I really wanted one that I could do that with but I didn't want something that looked super 90s basically like I didn't want one of the bags that is like in a like banana shape basically because I just don't feel like the longevity is there whereas that bag I can wear in that way but it's actually it's a classic it was a thing years and years and years ago and now it's a thing again and I just feel like it's one of those ones that you'll keep in your wardrobe for a really long time so that was my thought process behind it because I know some people will probably be thinking god that's a bag that has like been around for ages why buy it now and I'm probably going to leave it there today I have to jump on a call in a second which is why I've been talking at the speed of light I literally can't catch my breath I'm like trying to digest a smoothie and <laughs> speak really quickly at the same time but yeah I am going to jump on a call don't forget to let me know what kind of content you would like like holiday related coming up or just in general over the summer coming up let me know super up for ideas because just in a weird kind of like funk at the moment so let me know i hope you enjoyed this vlog i'm sorry i was away for so long and i'll see you again very very soon hopefully love you bye